e, wadau basi ndio hivyo e, nina story hapa ambayo ita blow mind e, e, kwa nami uisikize kuanzia mwanzo hadi mwisho e, kama ni ya kusumia Kwa majina naitwa Wycliffe Godia, mimi ni mzaliwa wa Vihiga County, lakini sasa wazazi walitoka Vihiga wakaenda Kakamega County Lugari. Okay. Walinunua shamba huko kule ni settlement scheme. Na mimi ni second born kwa family yetu ambaye sasa tuseme niko kama breadwinner. Baadhi ya makampuni nimefanya nazo ni kama Sunflag Textiles, huko Atriva EPZ na pale ya ujasiri na eh, na kwa historia wananikumbuka kama mimi ni mwa Afrika wa kwanza kupewa department ambayo ilikuwa hadi na wahindi wako chini yangu merchandising hii ilikuwa kampuni ilikuwa inaitwa Africa Parents iko hapa Nairobi Lunga Lunga Road na bado wananikumbuka hadi wa sasa kutoka pale nimekuja Mombasa pia nimefanya kampuni kidogo Mombasa Apparels nimekuwa hadi senior merchandiser merchandising manager na nikaona pana sasa nimefika mahali na fani nianze kupanua masomo kidogo nimefanya civil engineering nikamaliza nikiwa tu mtu na afya yake siko na shida yote ya afya nafanya vibarua kule Lamu Port wakati ilianza kule unakumbuka zile miaka za kitambo kidogo nimejaribu siasa nimesimama kiti cha ubunge Lugari constituency ilikuwa 2017 kwa hiyo harakati nikapigiwa simu na professor Julia Odiambo ule mama ambaye ambaye ni mkongwe msomi wetu alikuwa waziri wa kwanza kwa serikali ya hayati Kenya so nilipoenda kumuona nilikuwa hata simjui lakini akaniambia tu mimi ni Julia Odiambo e, nilipoenda pale siku mpata nikapata mheshimiwa babu na mwamba so venye nilifika hivyo babu na mwamba kaniambia ndugu nimesikia mambo mengi sana kuhusu nilikuwa natamani sana ni kuone leo so alienda straight to the point babu aliniuliza after salamu a quick one ukijirate out of five ukipoa support ya kutosha hii kiti cha lugari unaona una unaweza una skonga hapa nikaambia five out, out of five so walifurahi sana na from there tukaanza ku exchange contacts wakati ndio alikuwa secretary general wa ODM na alikuwa anatoka wanasumbuana na baba na hizo ni majina kubwa sasa huyu bwana amenita <laughs> so nilifurahi sana nikupitia kwa babu na mwamba nimefanikiwa nikatengeneza tuseme network yangu maana kupitia kwa babu na mwamba nilikuja nikajua mheshimiwa Ruto wakati akiwa naibu wa rais saiza ambaye ni rais rais ambaye sasa amestaafu uhuru Kenyatta Mheshimiwa Murko amenambia saa hizi ni waziri sababu ya ile na network. Biashara nimejaribu na hata bado najaribu manake sasa kwa hali nilio sasa ya afya ile kazi ya uhandisi imekuwa ni ngumu manake hizi kazi zetu na kibizana hapa na saruji ni nini lakini ile hali yangu iwezi. Sasa ile kitu naweza fanya ni theory ambaye labda mtu anataka angalie plan ya nyumba au mtengeneze big use vitu vidogo vidogo vya pale na pale mtu akisema nifanyie hii kando na hapo nika sema wacha nijaribu tu biashara kidogo nimeishi Mombasa nimefanya kazi Mombasa pili nimefanya kazi Lamu ya tatu nimeishi Mombasa sababu ile shida niko nayo ya moyo haitaji baridi kwa hivyo wale madaktari ambaye wananihudumia waliniambia itabidi niweze kutoka Nairobi maana ile baridi siwezani nayo nyumbani natoka western kule sasa ndio kuna baridi sana maana kule kuna ukulima kuna misitu kuna miti kule ni baridi sana unaona niko Mombasa lakini niko kwa hita ndivyo uh, kusema kweli hii eh, hali ya nilio nayo niko na shida ya moyo ambayo upande wa kulia wa moyo haufanyi kwa kimediki medicine inaitwa congestive cardiac failure ama copulmonale ile hali ambayo upande mmoja wa moyo haswa upande wa kulia ufanyi maana moyo wa binadamu iko na sehemu mbili kuna ile ya kutoremsha damu na kupanisha ile damu fresh inaenda kwa ubongo na kuna ile ya kusaidia kutoa ile deoxygenated blood ili iweze kupitia kwa mkojo ama mtu akitoka jasho na vitu vingine kama hivyo kwa hivyo mimi sina hiyo ile niko nayo ni ya upande moja tu hii. Sasa inafanya siwezi mwili wangu uweze ukafanya kazi kama mili ya mtu aliye na sehemu zote za moyo ambazo zinafanya kazi vizuri. Hii shida nilianza kuona dalili tulipomaliza kampeni za 2017. Maana nilifika mahali uh, nikawa tukiwa tena wenzangu tukitembea na scan mechoka. Nikibeba kitu kidogo tu hata kama ni laptop kule mkoba tu hivi na scan mechoka. So ikafika mahali January 2018 nikaambia wenzangu da 
naona kuna shida nataka niende kwa hospitali nijaribu kujieleza labda daktari niambie in fact wakati huo nilikuwa niko la munikaja hadi kilifi nilipofika nilipata wale madaktari wa kilifi wakaniangalia lakini daktari mmoja akaniita akaniambia naona kama unaweza kuwa na shida ya moyo lakini hapa hatuna vile vifaa vya kudhibitisha kama ni kweli lakini kulingana venye naona na venye naeleza kuna shida fulani na moyo wako. Akaniza waenda wapi? Nikamwambia nenda Nairobi. Nikamwambia kile ningekusia ukifika Nairobi nenda kwa hospitali yoyote yenye wako na cardiologist ambaye ni daktari wa kushughulikia mambo ya moyo. Mwambie tu unataka ufanywe echocardiogram. Ah, nilipofika Nairobi nilipuuza kwanza manake siku kimbilia kwa daktari. Sasa mimi nikafika huko eh hata nikamwambia marafiki zangu wameniambia nikifika nitafuta daktari wa moyo. Sasa tulikuwa ukisikia mtu akona shida ya moyo unaogopa. Unaona hii ni jambo kubwa sana wengine nakwambia usiende huko labda uta, utaambiwa maneno ambaye atakufanya ukose morali ya kuishi tena anaambia asiwe bado uko sawa eh sasa wewe tulia tu lakini kakaa wiki mbili nikaona hapana inaenda ikizidi so ilifika mahali nikikaa unapata mguu imekuwa na kauvimbe kadogo hivi alafu kanapasuka kanatoka damu kwenyewe na sio chungu So unakuwa umekaa mahali na watu hivi na watu na kuangalia nini mbaya unaona damu zimemwangika chini. So ilibidi niende hospitali. Kuna hospitali niende inaitwa Maria Kani Hospital. Jioni wakaniangalia wakasema huyu mtu hawezi rudi nyumbani. Hali yake sio mzuri. Itabidi tumlaze leo adafu kesho tufikire venye tunaweza tukamsaidia. Asubuhi tukaitiwa ambulance nikapelekwa Nairobi Hospital. Daktari aliweza kuchukua picha video ya moyo wangu wakaeka pale kwenye runinga kama niuliza eh, weekly f- unajua mambo ya nini moyo kidogo nikaambia daktari mimi nimeenda shule nimesoma biology nimefanya hata part time nimekuwa mwalimu vuruvuru girls lakini ile walikuwa nasema untrained teacher <laughs> ene ni kwa lafu ya biolojia kwa hivyo naelewa akaanza hiyo nini nikamwambia huu ni moyo wa binadamu akaniambia hebu iangalie iko aje nikamwambia huu moyo iko sawa shida ni nini nikamwambia naona upande mmoja ifanye na imefura hiyo upande mwingine imefinya hii nyingine kabisa mm, hata moyo inafaa upige at least eh, zile bits inafaa ziwe 72 lakini hii unaona inapiga zaidi ya 100 mm ambapo pulse iko juu sana eh, kwa hivyo iko na shida haiko sawa ndio daktari akaniambia huu ni moyo wako sasa akanambo kitaka tujue wacha tutoe hii cable tumeka kwa vidole hapa na huku waone kizima pale uh, katika hali hiyo walienda kunifanya counseling kwanza kwanza manake sasa nilikalishwa chini nikafanywa counseling na mke wangu manake sikusema mara ya kwanza nimeoa mimi niko na mke na watoto wakaniambia hali uko nayo sio rahisi kuitibu lakini unaweza ukaishi ukifata yale masharti yenye tutakuambia tutakusaidia kuishi na mimi hapo hapo nikaona na ujasiri nikauliza daktari niambie tunaenda kufa ama nitaishi daktari akaniambia naweza sema ndiyo unaweza kufa na pia naweza sema unaweza ishi kulingana vile utakavyochukua yale tutakuelezea wakaniambia upande mmoja wa moyo ulisimama na wamejaribu kupima waangalie manake shida za moyo sana huwa ni generic unapata kwa familia kuna historia mtu alikuwa na shida ya moyo wakiangalia yangu sio hiyo na mimi nawaambia sijaiumia mahali kitu ikanigonga moyo e, so nikawauliza imekuwaje niko nayo wakasema inawezekana pia e, wakasema unajua mwili moyo wa binadamu ni kama tu engine ya gari unaweza kununua gari na iende siku mbili tatu na yanze kuchemka. So daktari akaniambia tutabadilisha lifestyle yako. Itabidi tukupatie madawa upunguze weight kidogo e, manake moyo wako uweze ukafanya kazi mzito. Sasa iweze kabebe mwili mzito. Na pia kuna madawa utakuwa unatumia kila siku maisha yako yote. But naye akani encourage akaniambia lakini huwa tuko na cases kidogo kidogo na pata mtu moyo umekuwa namna hiyo alafu tena imeanza kufanya lakini akasema hayo ni mambo ya Mungu manake sisi ni wauguzi tu tunatibu lakini Mungu ni anaponya so akaniambia ukifata hayo utaishi kuna vitu tutakataza kama maziwa uachane nayo hii chumvi ya kawaida uachane nayo mafuta ya kupika uachane nayo kuna viungo vingine vya mwili vilivyoafectiwa nao vimeafectiwa sasa kwa hivyo sasa tunavyoongea hivi eh, niko na liver failure na kidneys pia zifanye zilianza kukataa baadaye zilianza kukataa manake zile yale madawa natumia ya moyo yanapiga hizi viungo vingine vita na hawezi simamisha haya sasa daktari aliambia wewe hata mtu akikuja kupatie kidney nyingine ni kuharibu tu maana bali itaharibika so acha tu tujaribu ku huku na huku tunapoendelea 
Aya sasa Nairobi Hospital ilikuwa iko expensive kidogo manake ndika pale wiki mbili uh, daktari akanambia nataka ni kutransfer pale South B cardiologist hapa na kuangalia pale kuna hospitali pale bado bado branch ile ya Rongenta Maria Kani Hospital nilika pale miezi tano na waliweza kunisaidia sana manake walikuwa wananipatia madawa wanakuja kuni counseling iliendelea nikakubali nikaamka tu mwenyewe nikamwambia mimi nimekubali yale mmeniambia nimesikiza kama mtu mzima na niko na familia bado ni changa nitajimudu nitaishi mwenye mtakavyosema lakini kama nimeambiwa however ujue haya maradhi iko na life span yake mm, nikamuza unamaanisha nini daktari akaniambia ugonjwa wa moyo hii condition yako copal monale life span yake ni miaka miwili mm, akasema ni lazima siku hizi madaktari tunasema ukweli tunaambia mtu venye kuko ndio ukiishi ukijua unajua venye kuko venye tu wanafanya watu wa kansa naambia stage ya mwisho ni four so akaniambia life span ni two years ambapo kulingana na uguzi pale walioniambia hivyo aba kwa anatarajia na zaishi beyond 2019 yes lakini sasa nashukuru Mungu manake sasa tuko 2023 manake mkutano wao na wafanyia matani bwana mlisema life span ni miaka miwili bwana kwani yangu ni vipi sasa nilisika nilika 10 week miezi 5 wakanifuatia madawa nikatoka nikawa naenda every two weeks naenda kwa clinic lakini sasa wao wakaniita wakaniambia sasa na sisi yale madawa walivyokuwa wananipatia wakasema sasa imeanza kuingia upande wa figo ndio wakaniambia sasa tutakutuma kwingine sisi tumeshindwa uwezo wetu unafikia hapa e, tutakwambia ujaribu uh, mata hospital ama nikaambiwa kule tenwek bomet kuna hospitali pia ni nzuri sana wanaweza waka tick from there waendelee maana kafaki kukuweka hapa tuku waste alafu baadaye iwe ni sisi tulikuchelewesha nikakubali nikashukuru sasa nikaangalia gharama za mata hospital na ten week nikaona ten week iko na fadhali nilipanga nikaenda ten week hospital na zile file zangu ripoti zangu zote za hospitali uh, waliponiangalia wakanilaza mm, tuliwekwa ICU nakumbuka ICU watu wa moyo tulikuwa watu 17 nimekaa ten week miezi nne hali hii ilianza kuathiri shughuli zako za kibiashara iliathiri kabisa manake siwezi tembea na sasa niko kwa wheelchair siwezi inua chochote siwezi kosoa mtu kitu sifai kugombana na mtu ama kutofute kutofautiana kwa mawaidha ama mawazo nini ni race voice eh, na sifai kupewa jambo la kunishtua unaona eh yeah, excitement mingi pia sio mzuri so emeni affect kwa vile vyote vile nisemaye hivi tulikata tenwe huyo kijanaangu wananisaidia hapa anaitwa Oscar tumekaa na Oscar na mke wangu ambaye yuko hapa yuko nyumbani sasa hizi uh, kwa ile ward ambayo tulikuwa tulikuwa wagonjwa 17 by the time nilikuwa natoka watu 15 walikuwa wameaga tumebaki wagonjwa wawili hmm. lakini jambo la kushangaza nikiingia pale wale madaktari walikuwa wanatuambia wanaambia hawa huyu mgonjwa wenyu ndiye ako na shida mbaya zaidi sana maana yake inatushinda vinye tunaweza itatua hawa wengine ni vitu vidogo vidogo valve imepanuka nini hizi ni vitu tuna amend lakini tulibaki watu wawili kwa hiyo ward hiyo IC ward wengine wote walikuwa na akajua maumivu ya moyo na hizo challenges zinatokea ni ugonjwa ambaye iko na changamoto mingi sana manake inafaa uishi karibu na daktari uwe na contact za madaktari na pia uwe unaelewa venye unaweza ukajisaidia kama shida imekupata manake unaweza ukafika mahali na unashindwa hata kupumua na labda uko peke yako kitambupate mtu akusaidie sio sasa zingine ukilala umelala na hizo madawa zimekuzunguka kwa kitanda e, ukisikia kupumua ni shida unachukua inhela ya watu wa moyo unatumia kidogo baada ya kutoka Tenwek Tenwek walijaribu akaniambia wameshindwa manake wanataka wanipeleke theater lakini hawawezi e, niko na develop uh, clots kuna uvimbe kwa moyo hapa ambaye damu imeganda pale na kutoa sio rahisi walileta madaktari zao kutoka Jerumani wakajaribu kuangalia wakasema no hawawezi wakaifanyia hapa wana mashini ya kutosha so 
nikarudi nyumbani nikapewa madawa za kukumanage nikarudi nyumbani nikakaa miezi miwili kama niko tu sawa tena ikani strike uh, ili strike kidney zilikuwa zina shut down na ilinipata off guard nikiwa nyumbani na huyu manake sasa tuko na gari standby ugonjwa sasa shida challenge changamoto tuko nazo lazima uwe na gari hapo all the time huyu akanikimbiza referral hospital Eldoret wale wakaniweka kwa mashine wakanipeleka kwa nini ICU kabla hiyo wakaenda kufanya dialysis wakajaribu kuamsha hiyo kidney ndio wakaanza medication nimekaa Eldoret Referral Hospital kutoka 2020 mwezi wa tisa hadi 2021 mwezi wa nne kelekea mwezi wa tano ali nilitoka hapo niambiwa unajua tuko mwaka mwingine na hata pasaka ya Easter tumemaliza <laughs> Eh, pale pia niliona challenges mingi. Uh, watu ni wagonjwa, watu wana maumivu tofauti tofauti, lakini sasa uh, pia ni bado tu walikuwa wanasema uh, nini? Walikuwa wananiambia tu condition yangu ndio the worst. Eh, manake unaangalia mtu anaumia lakini daktari anakuja na kupatia anakuenkara kama lakini unajua nini? Kwa hao watu wote mko nao hapa. Shida yako ndio mbaya na tukula kichwa sana. Uh, tunaenda kwa library kila wakati kuangalia vinyo tunaweza tukajaribu kusaidia hii kitu. So nilikaa pale nikapewa madawa pia. Wakasema wewe sasa tutakumanage na madawa tuweze kupeleka theater. Wakanipatia dawa zingine blood thinners za kuyeyusha damu hapa waone kama inaweza yeyuka kidogo. But uh, daktari mmoja kaniambia sasa mali nimefikia hapa uh, nitakutuma Nairobi uwezi ningekutuma uh, kwa daktari Gikonyo Karen manake kule ni baridi uwezani na huko. Akanambia nitakutuma Mombasa Hospital. Kule ndio nikakuja Mombasa Hospital. Nilipata cardiologist mwenye yako pale Mombasa, anaitwa Kieran Mwazo. Na appreciate yo daktari manake alinipatia matumaini ya kuishi tena. Alinifanyia CT scan, kamuelezea yale niliyomepitia ndani, akaniambia nitajaribu kwa vivyote vile mali naweza nitakusaidia usife moyo. Na ule daktari amefanya kazi. Manake uwa yuko kile wakati nikipiga simu hata saa ngapi kama niko mbali naambia kimbia hapa kwa hospitali nita premium hospital ndio wana daktari fulani mpe simu nitamueleza yeye atakusaidia usikuje huku ni mbali Mombasa hospital ni mbali usiteremke huko huwa naona kama amenipata another hope uh, maana hata yeye ndiye alikuwa ananiambia by the hata hawa wakati wakikwambia life span na mimi unajali kweli ndio life span ushamaliza <laughs> lakini wasikutishie na mambo kama hayo Eh, sisi ni madaktari tu tunatibu lakini hata sisi pia tunategemea Mungu kufanya nini. Eh, sasa yeye ndiye alinitibu alafu last year kama mwaka unaenda kuisha akaniambia kuna surgery na ufanywe ufanyiwe na ni technical sana. Akaniambia hapo Mombasa Hospital hatuna facilities za kutosha. Zingekuwa ningeifanya lakini jo haziko sitaki kugamba na maisha yako. Nikamza daktari na suggest aje akaniambia na suggest utafuta ma hospitali India. Sio akaniambia tumia network yako ukipata ma hospitali kabla decide ni gani share na mimi. Nijaribu kuuliza maswali nijue venye itakuwa. Hapo ndio sasa tulipata hospitali huko Delhi inaitwa BLX. So wakati nilienda huko BLX wakani admit, wakafanya vipimo, wakapiga picha, tukatafuta daktari wa kwanza, nikaambia huyo, huyo akaangalia akasema hawezi. Hii kesi yango ni critical kidogo atapatia senior wao. Sio wakati tulikuwa tunangoja yule senior kuje, akatuambia hii condition ni ngumu kidogo lakini wacha tungoje yule. Na tukaambiwa na wenzetu wenye walikuwa pale tulipata wa Afrika wengi wako pale India wameenda matibabu. Wakatuambia yule daktari umetumwa kwake ndio specialist wa moyo, anatambuliwa bara letu la Afrika, Asia na Marekani. Kwa hivyo uko kwa mikono safe. Huyo bwana aliangalia hiyo kesi yangu akapima, akapima na ndio akatupatia regret akasema siwezifanya hii. E, akasema chances ya kuingiza theater na tutoke ni 0%. Akanambia ni surgery inafaa ichukue zaidi ya masaa kumi. Lakini kiingia nawe kwa theater after 30 minutes utakuwa huko tena. Manake arteries zote lung arteries zime block. Damu ime blockisha lung arteries zote na distribution zake zote. Kwa hivyo awezi venye anaweza fungua one by one akizi akizi angalia huo muda utatosha na ni riski sana akasema tumpe siku tatu 
Aulize wataalamu wenzake kutoka German maana kule pia wao wanafanya heart transplant. So akatuma hiyo report huko. Tukangoja watu wa German wakakuja. Uh, German pia waliangalia wakasema uh, wanaweza fanya hii surgery lakini mgonjwa ajue chances ya kutoka theater ni 1%. Ni sasa wale walikuwa zero lakini hawa ni wana. Tayari uko huko huko. Niko huko huko wananiongelesha. Wananiongelesha niko na hizo video ndikuwapitia. Wakinielezea chances ni 0%. First this surgery I won't do. This has to be done by a cardiac surgeon. Maybe sometimes only medicine is required. Sometimes surgery. Surgery is a major surgery. We are not very keen to suggest you operation for very distant diseases. If they were in the proximal part of the lung artery we can take them out we call endectomy and that's helpful in your case it's very distant your your proximal pulmonary arteries are very very clean to be able to take those small small pieces out is very difficult and if they leave or partially are able to take it out you're not going to get help you have very high risk of dying on table or operation so let me think twice at least before suggesting you the operation okay at this point in time i'm not going to tell you that i will operate on you but as much as this is there we also know that without any operative kind of thing you're not going to go anywhere you're not progressing So say to say no has to be very responsible. Sasa nikawauliza sasa nikawauliza eh tulipewa madawa. Mm huyu mkoba mtembea nao eh watu wakiwa na tunatembea nayo wanafikia labda labda ni pesa huyu bwana ame amefanikiwa mahali. Naona hizi dawa. Hizi na meza zote kila dawa iko na kazi yake. Ukiokota pakiti yote nitakwambia nafanya nini. Nimezoea eh, namna hii. Nimezoea na kila siku ni meza asubuhi saa saba jioni. Na siwezi kosa hata moja. Maana yake nikikosa. Hizo nilizipata kule. Hizo nilipewa kule India kuna zingine nilipewa hapa za Mombasa Hospital wakasema zina ziko sawa. Maana hata wale walisema wanaheshimu yule daktari na nishughulikie hapa Mombasa Hospital. Sasa wale watu wa India wakasema ile changamoto kubwa hapa liva yangu ime fail. Kidney ni weak. Sasa wakibambanya hizi zote alafu wanipeleke theater hakuna ni kama wanajua tu vile matokeo yanaenda kuja kutoka huko haya yatakuwa mazuri. So nimeelimishwa kuhusu shida yangu na ielewa lakini sasa shida nilionayo kubwa sijapata mtu anaweza kitatua najua shida yangu yes lakini sijapata yule mtu anaweza kuja kae chini ya reason especially medics waseme hii tunaweza fanya a b c d manake wananiambia tu nenda ukajaribu new york nenda ukajaribu south africa nataka yule mtu anaweza nipate na confidence aseme tunaenda kufanya a b c d atakiwa na video asema tutafanya hivi 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 na tutatatua hii so ile shida ni changamoto niko nayo kubwa hapa naelewa shida yangu na sijapata suluhu ya shida yangu sio sababu sina wale wanaweza nisaidia kufadhili hayo matibabu hapana niko na marafiki huo wamesimama na mimi sana kwa upande wa matibabu lakini hatujapata mahali hiyo shida inaweza tatuliwa ombi langu ni especially madaktari na wale wataalamu ambao wamekuwa na challenges kama hizi kama kuna yeyote mahali ambaye anaona hii shida yangu anaweza kanitumwa mahali ama anaweza kaitatua ambayo ni shida ambayo ni shida ya ko palma nale moyo upande moja ifanyi na iko na clot ime block lung arteries na arteries za moyo zote zime block na imesambaza kwa imesambaza sasa zile dawa natumia zinaua Liva maana kesa sasa mali nimefikia kwa medics wanajua every two weeks naenda kwa hospitali na jaza dawa inaitwa albumen kwa liver chupa mbili every two weeks naenda kuwekewa yeah, albumen yeah. chupa moja ni 1013 so after every two weeks mpaka niende na 26000 niweke tu chupa tuwili to 125 ml 125 ml ijazwe kwa nini kwa liver ndio angalau niendelee kusonga Okay now uh, I appreciate uh, for this great interview actually my main major problem is I understand my condition I am a co-pulmonary patient that is a congestive cardiac failure 
right side of my heart isn't functioning. I'm on the sixth year. I'm about to start the seventh year with the condition. Uh, the lung arteries are blocked because of the clot. I'm using excessive blood thinners and uh, some of uh, these medicines are affecting my kidney. For the medics understand that like uh, a coagulant I've been using called Zarelto. Now it is too strong. It is killing my liver and kidneys. So they have stopped. They have changed it to Epixa Q, which is a bit lighter. Uh, the blood thinners I'm using are not available locally. It comes from India. And a packet here at Nairobi Hospital, we used to get one. Goes at, uh, one goes at 50,000, a packet of uh, 100 tablets. This one. This is a blood thinner. At Nairobi Hospital, we buy this packet for 49,500. And you have to place an order and wait for one week so that they source and bring it. So this is what I've been keeping. It is called Rio Ciguat. I do 0.5 milligram three times a day. It is excessive because now a blood thinner means it loosens, makes the blood to be light. In case of a small injury here, I will bleed. If there's no any reliable first aid, I can bleed until I get unconscious. So our problem or my problem is not even funds. I have good well-wishers and friends who have always stood with me to handle this particular challenge I'm facing. My problem is I just need a proper referee where I can be treated. I've been referred to India. I tried, I've stayed there two months, nothing happened. I've been to go, told to go and try to Turkey, but now they're using the word try. I'm t between hard and rock. Should I go to Turkey? Every day I wake up, I'm like, let me start, let me go and request for a visa and go to Turkey. But they're asking me, are you sure or you're going to try? So this trial and errors, I don't want to gamble with my life. That is the only thing I'm appealing to. If there's any medic who feels that this problem can be, fixed or I can get a better relief to make it a bit easier for me. It will be better because it is very costly. Uh, the money I'm using to manage the condition is too expensive. I think it is better to find a long-term solution because the pain I undergo through is very strong, not easy. I have exhausted all the painkillers. Now the painkiller I can only use is a morphine, which is a very strong painkiller. The medics knows and you cannot just get it easily without approvals. And the lighter painkiller I can use is tramadol. These ones are high voltage drugs that are not available across the counter of the pharmacy. So that is my appeal. Maisha ni safari ndefu. Na unaweza kukaa pale umezoea kukaa na ukakaa mahali ambapo itakulazimu uzoe kukaa hapo e, kwa sababu moja au nyingine. Mimi ni Lolani Kali.